Good morning, everyone. Uh, I would like to introduce the team who are presenting today Hotway, Dishan, uh, Salon, Alex, and myself, Jai. And we're going to talk about JT Sports. Okay. So, a short introduction of what JT Sport is is that they are one of the top retailers and distributors selling sportwear and fashion wear products. Founded in 1981 by John and David. And they started out as a small shop in Bury. And, and from there on, they have, spread, uh, they have expanded throughout Europe and UK and globally until Malaysia. Okay. So, one of the, so one of the, this is their target market. They are targeting young athletes, male, both male and female, from age between 13 and 21. Those who are young and passionate to become a very good football player, basketball player, or any sports player. Let, and they are aiming for medium to high income group. As all their, their brands are quite expensive, as they're going for brands quite expensive, average from 120 to uh, uh, 600 ringgit in Malaysia. And they're looking for, as, as mentioned, they're looking for for uh, someone who wear them, like what defines them and what specifically was was made for them and in terms of sportswear and something feel, they will feel someone famous and comfortable as well. So the they have two way so they have this is their way of how they distribute their products. First through e-commerce. They use they have online websites and they use through delivery they can order through delivery payment and you can look through products through the online. Shopping center, they have branches placed throughout in shopping center. Example, there's one in Subway and out of town. So they have stores in commercial blocks. Then the commercial blocks that are around, there's like a side road and you can have a look and you can see like shoes and clothes and sportswear. So we're gonna talk about virtual marketing functions that JD Sports use. First one is they use uh, is uh, they use they have is official website. They have they use the official website has easier accessibility for the customers. They have, the customer can easily see uh, where for men, women, and kids category for them to look at products, price, and as well as order online. And they have uh, effective transaction service for easier payment for easier delivery service so they can insert their payment method through their, uh, their address so they're able to delivery to them and as well as, as well as order them and collect from the store themselves. And they have a, quite a fish customer service in terms of when if customers are allowed to complain, they can go through their website and send email to them or contact them if they want to uh, if they want to deal with any problem they have. So I'm gonna pass so to continue the rest of the one I'm gonna pass to Alex. Uh, in order to enhance the very expectation of this spot in to attract the attention to fulfill the desire of uh, the target audience. Therefore, the spot is actively promoting its product through social media such as Facebook and Instagram. By the way of updating its latest edition product image and get the value feedback from the Customer in with the intention of improving on it product and service. Besides that, they are also cooperating with some artists such as Danny Cole as an influencer to promote it product and to talk about the product for helping the company to reach a larger spectrum of audience. This can enhance their brand reputation as the customer are not only interested in e-business but can be also informed by the artist. The Sport is also cooperating with some famous model in helping them to film a video about the product to post to a official YouTube channel. So, the Sport can update their latest video about the product in the official YouTube channel for easily interact with the audience to guide the actual demand of the audience through the command column.
Okay, this four is also provide mobile application in order to reduce the support cost as well as to improving the customer satisfaction. Customer can search the letter is uh, do online shopping through their mobile device in any kind of set time. Besides that, it's cheaper to operate their business through mobile apps as they no need to provide the staff to explain about the product. In addition, it's more convenient to do online shopping as compared to shopping in retail store. On top of that, in order to make the customer having a higher level of engagement toward the brand, the customer can search for the latest information through the mobile app just only by the uh, mobile device instead of using laptop or uh, computer and make it more convenient for them. To sum up, uh, the customer can download the official app for free in Apple Store and Google Store for both Apple user and for both for both Apple user and uh, Android user. So I now I will pass to the Okay, so I want to talk about the virtual marketing platform. Okay, so JD Sport is an operating online platform for the for their customer. So it is important for of the customer service that should focus more on the customer service as their customer to reach them. So uh, if the customer is treated kindly and better respect, they will purchase more in the future. So however, if they did not have an excellent customer service, the, their customer will probably go to their competitors. So the next one, next one is bad reviews. According to my research, most of the comments in JD Sports are bad comments. It actually brought the negative impacts on the business because it will damage the reputation and the trustworthy and the profit of the business and mobile customer will be hesitate to make the purchase in the future for example a customer named Annie she bought a pair of shoes on JD Sports but the delivery was late and she emailed to the JD Sport customer service but they did not give her a satisfied answer so she decided not to purchase in the future. And so the next one will be the delivery service. One of the issues will be the parcel did not, did not deliver on time. It is estimated to be delivered within three to five days, but it did not. Even though the customer paid for the premium delivery, which is the next day delivery, but they still did, did not receive the parcel. It can actually bring down the brand reputation and JD Sport will lose the ability to compete with their competitors. And lastly, the tracking system is not reliable. When the customer wants to track their parcel to the tracking system, it is, uh, it is shown that they received the parcel in three days, but they did not. That they still did not receive after one week. So, in this case, they will actually lose their customers, and they did not taking the issue serious seriously and overcome it. So, they, to make the delivery service retaining a good relationship with their customer. So the next one I will pass to my friend, Godwin. Morning everyone, my name is Godwin. I'll be talking about another two issues of visual marketing, which is design layout and promotion issue. First one is design layout. Nowadays, online shopping is very common. People always do online shopping by using their smartphone and also mobile device. So, the design layout of website is very important. The problem of JD Sport is 
their design layout of website is too simple and not interesting compared to other online shopping website. Their design layout of website is tedious and unattractive at all. This will somehow affect the mood of user and pleasure to shop on their website. As a result, the customer might not spend much time on do online shopping on their website. Next, the website is not mobile friendly. As I said, their website is not mobile friendly. When customers use their mobile device or smartphone browse on their website, they, are, they cause a lot of problems and of inconvenience. Such as, there are some features and images are not cannot be loaded through their smartphone. And also, their several <coughs> web page are blocked due to un, unknown reason. And it, it also will cause direction error when customers do some searching on their website by using by using their smartphone or mobile device. Next. Next one will be the promotion issue. Now, YouTube is a great platform to let the product get promoted. JD Sport has created their own YouTube channel and posted, uploaded their server, uh, some several videos on it. Creating an account and upload their videos regularly about their latest news and announcements will increase their popula popularity and also show their assistance on YouTube. However, advertising through YouTube has also yeah, has its own pros and cons. For an example, YouTube will show an advertisement about JD Sport to viewer before a video starts playing. But the viewer might feel impatient and skip the advertisement. So advertising through advertising through YouTube might not always work on it. And according to my research I did online, there are some irrelevant, irrelevant videos are posted in their channels, such as celebrities are organizing their World Tours concert, and also interviewing celebrities, makeup, makeup tutorial for women, and so on. There, there are not much videos that are specific on introducing their own products. Instead of watching those irrelevant videos, customers are more likely to watch more videos that show more about their own products. So the content of video is important. I'll be passing next slide to my colleague. Hi, I'll be, I'll be presenting the recommendation for the issue that I mentioned earlier. First is the customer service. JD Sport should regularly update the customer service system and to ensure to give their customer a speedy response. So if they don't do that, the cost and the pressure will be increased. Next, uh, JD Sport should provide a page for customers to check back their previous orders because quite a lot numbers of customers feel disappointed that they couldn't check back their orders when they want to make a new purchase. Lastly, is the frequently they have to frequently update the amount of stock and available sizes of their products. Next recommendation for delivery service is uh, JD Sports should frequently update the orders and enable the real-time stock management for customers to check their orders and know where the orders at the same time. Second, uh, JD Sports should not make any promises if they can't deliver the items on time. Uh, quite a number of customers feel disappointed that they didn't receive their parcel on time. Uh, next, uh, JD Sports should collect all the feedback from the customer for the further improvement. Last, for the delivery service, uh, I think that JD Sports should update a whole new tracking system uh, so the customer can receive more reliable information for their orders. As the recommendation for design and line out, JD Sport provided too many information on a single page. They should not do that because customer will feel a little bit giddy in us. And JD Sport should take their user onto a journey such as uh, when they browse the browser, they will, they will feel more comfortable. So they were more likely to sign up, become an e-member and make a purchase. Then they should keep all attention at all costs. Lastly, they have to update the layout of our website into mobile friendly and let their mobile users to 
use it uh, when they're on their smartphone. Last recommendation for promotion issue. On YouTube, there are three categories uh, for uploaders who want to upload their videos, which is the hub, hero, and IPG. Hub is to have a scheduled programming uh, to have a reason, uh, this is to have the reason for subscriber to subscribe their videos. Second is the hero, which means a huge and one-off event that wants to increase their audience growth. Last is the hygiene. This means to upload a short, uh, brief tutorial video for their uh, viewers. So, suggestion for JD Sport, they should focus on the hub category. They should upload more videos on, the, on their products and talk more spe uh, specification of the product. Next, I'll pass back to GIE to sum up the presentation. In conclusion, for JD Sports, for JD Sports to become uh, one of the top, still remain their title as one of the top distributors and sports player, they need to keep up their image as a good, uh, as a top distributor to the customers by, following, by solving each of these issues using the recommendation, uh, using the recommendation given. So this is the end of the presentation. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, any questions? Yeah. Okay, question? I have one. Right. Uh, about the design and layout over there, I actually found that there was this part of shortening all the costs. But when you're promoting towards the virtual media as well as um, doing it in a physical shop, how can you lower the cost in that case? Can you please explain? Yeah, about the shortening all the costs, you have one point, the design and layout. About the the recommendation. Yeah, the Actually, that means that they should focus the material, the promotion material at one goal. Like, for example, should not use too much of product on their promotion issue instead of using human because. Uh, research say that hu uh, using human to promote your stuff actually creates a natural connection between your website, and your promotion, each uh, content towards your customers. So eventually, you mean this is a uh, there will be a shortage of costs? It's not about the cost. Uh, it's another term like how you should focus uh, your attention to one thing. But over there, in one point, it has written the shortage of uh, one cost. So. That is what I'm Yeah, the shortage of the cost, of all the costs. Can you please, you can also check your slide, the design and layout. So, so there, that is what I was talking about. Yeah, should keep all the attention at all costs. What do you actually mean by that? Can you please explain us a lot uh, There's another sentence saying that uh, JD Sport should actually use uh, Human, like instead of you just using their, you know, legs, body parts, yeah. they should use a whole human on the page to create the natural connection between the customer and the page. So later on, the cost will fall. This cost doesn't. No, mean, it doesn't. Mean, it, it, it it's doesn't not mean about cost. actual cost. You say yeah. the attention at all costs. Okay. It's a figure um, of speech. Yeah. Okay. Any other question? All right, I have one question. All right, now, you talk about a lot of operational and technical issues when it comes to the shortcomings of their digital marketing approaches. Okay, now, what I'm much more interested in knowing is that how would all of this impact the overall branding approach of JD Sport? Looking at their demography, for example, JD Sport naturally targets a younger audience than other fashion brands or other brands, right? Or other retailers out there. Do you think that having the, the way that they are doing their online marketing could sustain their, uh, their presence in that, that, very mu that, that youth-centric market? Yes or no and why? Yes. Why? Because now this day, because, <coughs> because now these days, um, if you want, if now sports, if you want to, to show up attention, now these days, as when you want to target youth, you need to show how famous, not say how famous, like how well known your brand is to the market, and using the web, using online website.
Take a, take a deep breath. Don't need to worry. I will not hurt you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. uh, because it is the dominant way to compete with the computer, then more active than other computer in virtual marketing. But my question is, do you think they are the, the present way of how um, your company is doing their digital marketing approaches, is it sustainable in terms of keeping the, or getting the attention of the youth market that they are, that they are coveting? Yes, because in, in using this digital marketing way, these days youth are always using computer and WhatsApp, and phone and web application. And sometimes we are too, the, not, we, it's quite troublesome for the youth to go to stores to look at actual products. So they will so what they will do is they have to have a look, shop online, and they will actually have a look at each of the product and prices and see how it suits them and how it looks like and there are some that give reviews to each of the product. Okay, alright, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.